Hello and welcome to this incredible mixed martial arts hit workout which is inspired by Israel Adesanya, one of the most inspirational, captivating and sensational stand-up strikers in the UFC as of this moment. And this workout is comprised of 10 of some of his very best combinations in his fights. So follow along, utilize his movements, do the best you can to keep up. I know I'll do my best as well. And uh, let's have a great workout. Again, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button as well, and turn on notifications so you get regular updates of my newest videos. Comment below, team. Let me know the kind of athletes that you want me to, to base my future workouts around. And it doesn't just have to be uh, as it relates to MMA. Okay, let's dive in. Fantastic. So this workout consists of 20 exercises. We will be 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. The workout consists of 10 of Israel Adesanya's current best combinations and finishes in the UFC. And there will be variations. You do not have to copy every single exercise because some of the movements are exceptional and very difficult to perform and execute, as you can uh, imagine. So let's get in stance. Predominantly, Adesanya likes to operate and function in the orthodox stance. As you see, currently, we are about to start. Here we go. These are the strikes landed against Rob Wilkinson in his debut for the UFC. So it's a left knee, it's a left hook, it's a right body shock, a left hammer fist, and then a, a left hook to a downward opponent. Power and speed, keep it going. Technique. Talk and twist with your hook. Protect your chin and body throughout. Nice. Here's your rest. As you can see, up next, we have his combination against Marvin Vittori, which consists of a left cross, a spin kick, followed to a right to straight to the body, as you can see in the top left hand corner there. Let's go. The spin kick is a bit too demanding, a bit too complex for you at this stage. That's okay. You can just do a standard body kick to replace it, all right? So we're switching stances in this instance. We are unorthodox to begin with. When we land the left cross, and then we switch to orthodox. Almost there. Nice. Take a breather. Next combination is against Brad Tavares. A very tough fight. He leads with his left hand out here. It's kind of gauge distance. And then he kind of surprises Brad with a, a right head kick here. Then he does a bit of a slip from side to side to avoid and evade Brad Tavares' shots. And then he lands that left hook at the end there. One of his best shots. As you'll see throughout today's session. So keep it going. Nice. Hand out, land that head kick, move, get out the way, land that left hook. Beautiful. a deep breath next is quite possibly my favorite combination that Adesanya has ever landed and it was against Derek Brunson he's got quite a few shots in this sequence so be patient with yourself here You're starting with a, a right knee to a jab and a cross and an uppercut and you're going to clinch and land a knee each side and you're going to switch stances for a moment land your right head kick 
and then your right straight almost simultaneously here just do your best nice keep going intensity in your shots power ferocity in your shots you're going to burn those calories you're going to torch that body fat remember to change your stance right before you land that head kick and that right straight beautiful well done guys next we're looking at the combination that adesanya land against anderson silva you can see it in the top left hand corner there lovely knee at the end keep going it's like a half jab to begin with yeah kind of catches Anderson Silva on the on the half beat here his jab is half out to begin with keep going Excellent. Gather yourself. And this is a, quite a devastating combination that landed against Kelvin Gaston. What a war. Quite possibly Adesanya's toughest fight in the UFC to date. It consists of a jab, cross, jab, hook. Then a right straight to the body. Then he has his left hand out. Gauging the distance and holding Kelvin Gastelum's head in place whilst he lands his shots. So we're going to do two right crosses at the end there, as you can see. Nice. Nice crisp shots. Almost there. Finish the combination. Nice. Take a moment to gather yourself. Next, we have uh, some outrageous foot movement, as you can see in the bottom right hand there. Foot movement, jab, and then it's a winging right hook because of the aggression displayed by uh, Robert Whitaker in this fight. So there's the foot movement. You land the jab, and then you land that winging right hook. Devastating. So you're kind of leaning back with the right hook. It's not your standard technique here. And the Sanyu is utilizing his reach brilliantly here and he's whipping that hook all the way around to land on Whitaker's chin. Movement, jab, winging, right hook. Put some power into that shot. Definitely a knockout blow, that one. <laughs> nice. Gather yourself. This is also a combination. So what you saw previously was the combo that dropped Robert Whittaker at the end of the first round. This next one is the one that actually led to the finish of Robert Whittaker in the fight. It's a jab, your standard right hook, and then a, again another winging left hook, as you can see in the top right-hand corner there. Same kind of methodology for that winging left hook that dropped Whitaker in the exchange. Keep going. Power in these shots. Jab, hook, winging, left hook. Almost there. Excellent. Gather yourself for a moment. Now we're going to be doing the uh, a cartwheel kick, followed by a left hook, and then you're going to protect your body by shuffling from side to side, keeping your arms close to your your and your hands close to your chin. And you can see in the top left hand side there, quite a dull fight in general, but the end was very exciting indeed as Romero was putting on the pressure and Adesanya showing how his flexibility, 
his diversity and being quite cheeky doing this at the end of the fight. Nice cartwheel kick there. Left hook. And then protect yourself against the aggressive opponent. Just like doing a cartwheel, don't overcomplicate it if you're unfamiliar. If this is too advanced, too difficult, that's absolutely fine. Just land your standard, say, head kick instead. Okay. Nicely done. Now we have the finish against Paolo Costa here, which begins with the right body shot, then the left hook, then the right hook, then a jab, and then it finishes with that left hook here. Get in position, guys. Have a look at the top left hand side here. And there's an exchange. There's obviously a pause between the jab and then the left hook here. Devastating shot. But we are just going to flow throughout the entire sequence because this is a workout, of course. You need to keep that heart, heart rate up. Pause yourself. Remember to talk. Your heel off the ground. You land your hooks, as you can see there. Keep your head moving opponents coming for you as well so protect yourself be diverse be unpredictable with your movement be hard to gauge keep going almost there really explosive power in these shots now we return back to the first combination here against Rob Wilkinson for the debut yet again Get ready, you can see the combination in effect in the top left hand side here. Hammer fist and left hook. The fight was essentially finished at this point anyways. That was the final blow. Excellent. might be able to do these combinations the second time around with a bit more speed since you're becoming more and more familiar with the sequences now nice deep breaths combination there with the left cross and you switch stances then you fake with the standard head kick, the spinning back kick here. You fake with that and then you just land your standard head kick at the end. And a lovely body shot to diversify the attack. To overwhelm the opponent. Lovely. Now the combination against Brad Tavares again. A hand out as a distraction almost. Gauging distance as well. And then a nice surprising kick. Johnny's uh, athletic ability here with the right head kick. Then you're going to slip and then you're going to land that left hook. Jumping left hook. If it's hard to land with the hand out and then following up with the head kick, that's okay. Just land a standard body kick instead so you don't have to kick as high. Okay, only do what you can here. But we need to keep up the intensity. Nice, deep breaths. A quick sip of water if you must. Next is the combination against Derek Brunson again. Catching him in the combination with that incredible knee while Derek Brunson was going down for the takedown. So it's a knee, then a straight, 
then a jab, then an uppercut, then knees whilst you're clinching. Then you're going to switch your stance and catch him with that surprising question mark head kick. If you can't do the question mark head kick, that's okay. Just do your standard head kick or a body shot if you can't kick that high yet. Almost there. Well done, guys. You're doing well. Keep it going. This is the combination the sequence against Anderson Silva. Epic fight between two legends. Quite possibly the two best strikers of all time in the UFC. Definitely the most creative strikers. You can see the sequence in the top left there. Let's go. Keep that power going guys jab cross uppercut elbow and then end with the knee remember it's a bit of a half jab if you can do that your hands already half out then the jab flows get some power in that knee here Last one, come on, let's go. Yes, deep breaths. Come on, we're getting to the fifth round of this workout now. Just like the way Adesanya landed this combination in the fifth round against Kelvin, as you can see in the top left hand corner. Doing a jab, cross, jab, hook right straight to the body then your hand left hand out as you grab for your opponent's head because they're dazed and you land two right crosses excellent keep it going speed power come on your opponent would be tired now as well you need to dig deep here you're burning torching calories losing body fat increasing metabolism increasing growth hormone What's great for the heart is great for the brain. We're doing ourselves wonders here. Keep it going, guys. Almost there. Now, this is all about the foot movement. Being hard to avoid, making our opponent make mistakes because our movement is too much for them to handle. So make sure that you're incorporating the foot movement in this exercise. As you can see in the top left, devastating right hook you're leaning back whipping right hook over committing but this is what happens in the exchange when your opponent's very aggressive Come on 10 seconds let's go Next is the other outstanding combination against Whitaker later on in the fight, where it's a jab, your standard traditional right hook, and then you land in that winging left hook again. It's a devastating effect. You can see a theme in this fight. Whitaker was too aggressive, charging down Adesanya, and Adesanya had that reach, he had that whip in these shots that was devastating in the exchange. and keep that power going guys not fading not now this is the fifth round we're almost there just a couple of combinations a couple of exercises left and we are there power keep that technique up keep your hand up to the chin protect your body from any body shots come on excellent now we're getting very experimental do your best with the cartwheel kick there if that's too advanced do a head kick or a body kick instead okay it's like a handstand you're balancing on one leg as you whip your back leg high enough to hopefully land on your opponent then you're going for that left hook
then you're going to be pressed up against the cage imagine that and you have to protect so when you land cover up use your shoulders to cover your chin your neck move your head keep your hands up to your chin keep your arms close to your body protect your rib cage protect your diaphragm here don't give your opponent a chance let's go one more round one more sequence excellent okay guys this is the final combination he landed this against Paolo Costa uh, again Costa was uh, quite stifled a little bit hesitant but in this exchange Costa was aggressive and Adesanya went straight with a right to the body as you can see in the top left hand side in a moment body shot very powerful winging hooks there very quick then leading jab and then there's a hook there that really finishes the fight make sure you have great power in that in that left hook at the end there you know in fighting visualization is key you need to visualize these shots landed against your opponent you need to imagine them going down not being able to take the onslaught of your power of your speed of your technique one more let's go excellent and that is the workout done guys make sure you do a, um, a cool down stretch it out because uh, you put pressure on your on your joints on your muscles throughout this workout with the winging shots the power shots with all the diverse kicks make sure you subscribe turn on notifications as well like this video it really helps guys hope you enjoyed this workout well done it's here for you whenever you need another tough israel adesanya inspired workout speak to you soon